everybody. How are you today? Are you happy? Good, fantastic. Okay, well, I hope you liked the story of Jack and the Beanstalk last week. Look at all your lovely beanstalks. Thank you for sending them in. This week I'm going to tell you another story. It's one of my favorite stories. Are you ready to look and listen? Yes? Let's go. So this is the story that I'm going to read to you today. It's called we're going on a bear hunt and it's written by a man called Michael Rosen and illustrated by Helen Oxenbury. So before we listen to the story, we need to know some words from the story. Listen and repeat. Grass. River. Mud. Forest, snowstorm, cave. Now in this story, we're going to go looking for an animal. Which animal are we going to look for in this story? Are we going to look for a cow or a butterfly? or a bear, or a snake. Which animal is it? That's right, it's a bear. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, grass, long wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we'll have to go through it. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Uh-oh, grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We've got to go through it. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Woo! <laughs> We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a river, a deep, cold river. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Splash, splosh, splash, splosh, splash, splosh. Oh no, a river. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, Alex, what we got to do? We got to go through it. Splish, splosh, splish, splosh, splish, splosh. Now in the story, the children and their mummy and daddy say, we're not scared. Now which face do you think is Scared. Is it this one? This one? This one? Or this one? Which one is scared? That's right, it's this one. But we're not scared. We are. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, mud, thick, oozy mud. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. 
squelch, 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 squelch. Uh oh, mud. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Squelch, 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 squelch. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a forest, a big, dark forest. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip. Stumble, trip, stumble. Uh-oh, a forest, we can't go over it, over, no, 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 we can't go over the forest. How about if we go under the forest, under. We've got to go through it, through. Hello. Can you see the bear? He's gone through the forest like this. In and out and in and out. Through the forest. Through. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a snowstorm. A swirling, whirling snowstorm. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we'll have to go through it. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, a cave. A narrow, gloomy cave. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Uh-oh, a cave. Oh no, we we'll have to go through it. Tip toe, tip toe, tip toe. What's that? <laughs> One shiny wet nose, two big furry ears, two big goggly eyes. It's a bear! <coughs> Quick, back through the cave. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Back through the snowstorm. Hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo. Back through the forest. Stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip. Back through the mud, squelch, squirt, squelch, squirt. Back through the river, splash, 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 splash. Back through the grass, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Get to our front door, open the door, up the stairs. Oh no, we forgot to shut the door. Back downstairs. Shut the door, back upstairs, into the bedroom, into bed, under the covers. We're not going on a bear hunt again.
That's the end of the story. But how do you think the bear is feeling? Is it happy or sad? Why? Do you remember the name of this animal? What is it? That's right, it's a bear. How many bears can you see? Let's count. One, two, two bears. Now one bear is very big and one bear is very small. Which bear is big? Is it this one or this one? Which is the big bear? That's right, it's this one. This is the big bear. Which one is the small bear? That's right, this one's the small bear. Let's draw a bear. Let's start with the bear's nose. Here's the nose. One wet, shiny nose. Now the mouth. A happy mouth. Now we're going to draw the eyes. How many eyes shall we draw? One or two? That's right, we're going to draw two. Two big goggly eyes. And now ears. Furry ears. One or two ears? Two, that's right, two ears. Two furry ears. And now we have our bear. We're going to draw his head. One head. And there he is. One nose. One mouth. Two eyes and two ears. Hello, bear. Would you like to do some art? Okay, let's make a collage this week. We're going to stick lots of different colored paper to make a map of the bear hunt. First, we need some green paper for the grass and some pink paper for the flowers. Then some blue paper for the river now we need some brown paper for the sticky mud. Blech. Now for the snowstorm. Some blue paper for the sky and now some different snowflakes. Also add little balls of white paper to make snowballs. So here we have the different places on our map. Let's play a game. Where's the bear? Can you see the bear? That's right, he's in the grass. Where's the bear now? Where is he? That's right, he's in the river. Where's the bear now? That's right, he's in the mud. Yuck. Where's the bear? That's right, he's in the forest. Where's the bear? Yes, he's in the snowstorm. And where's the bear now? Yes, he's in his cave. So if you make this collage of the map, please share your pictures here. I'd love to see them. Now where I live, there aren't any bears, but there are lots of butterflies. So let's see if we can find some butterflies with this experiment.
we're going on a butterfly hunt. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. So stick some string to a plastic cup. You can use glue or sellotape. Now make a hole in the bottom of the cup with a pen. Now put some cotton inside the hole and make some petals with some paper or, or plastic. Stick the petals onto the bottom of the cup around the cotton, just like a flower. What a beautiful flower. Now take some water, nine tablespoons of water and one tablespoon of sugar and stir it together. Stir, stir, stir. Now hang up your cup outside on your balcony or in your garden and pour in the water and sugar. And now you have to wait and watch and see if the butterflies come to your flower. Don't touch or hurt the butterflies. Just look at them. ¿Quieres repasar los contenidos de este vídeo? Sigue el enlace o escanea el código QR. Estas son las aplicaciones que hemos empleado para hacer este material. Esperamos vuestras aportaciones en el Padlet al que podéis subir vuestros trabajos vía enlace o escaneando el código QR. El autor de este libro, Michael Rosen, ha estado enfermo de coronavirus, así que desde aquí le mandamos nuestros mejores deseos.